Hello and welcome back. So it's time for some Cloud9 or Shroud9, as Dan sometimes says. It's, it's a very honest mistake that happens repeatedly and often goes uncorrected. Sue me. Indeed. So this is the first of three cache maps today. Matches. It is the cache. And they're going to something. be playing against Follow Esports. Thank you for that contribution, Dan. <laughs> Cloud9 at home uh. versus Follow Esports. I'm, I'm, just, I'm looking forward to... Uh, I, I, always, I always look forward to watching Cloud9. And I enjoy watching Follow Esports now because it, it's still a kind of journey of discovery there. And Peter's really playing well with the AWP. I'm curious to see how he will play on such an open map versus the likes of Cloud9. We will soon find out. Into the pistol round we are with Cloud9 starting on the T side. Okay, so... I can't see anything. Okay, now I can see things again. This is good. We've got the 3-2 set up here from Full Esports. So they are actually anticipating that there might be a bit of an A play. That actually has been in the meta game more often recently that we'll see either A splits or plays through Squeaky or main into A straight up. And that actually looks like what Cloud9 are initially kind of posturing towards. And there's no spot from Follow Esports in middle, so they're not actually going to see exactly what's going on. But I think Follow Esports will feel the presence that middle is completely gone. But they don't know exactly where Cloud9 are going to go. And that's the beauty of having middle as a T side. This is interesting. We saw complexity yesterday in the same situation on, on the T side. But uh, here we go, Cloud9 moving into the B split now. And we'll see if it will pay off. Three people rotating from A, and that might be really difficult for them to get back into the B bomb site. Nothing going to push through the smoke with just the uh, HE not needing a flashbang. Freakazoid holding off angle on the vent. The bomb still not being planted. There it goes, finally. I'm not sure if it's uh, planted for the vents or not. Four versus four. TT's looking for the retake. Yeah, we've got uh, the four versus four now with that bomb down. All the CTs are coming in all at once into this defense of Cloud9. It looks almost an impenetrable fortress. There is a. They even have a moat, James. There's, there's the drawbridge is up. Cloud9 with their pastel colors. Going a bit Bob Ross, Dan. Pastel. Someone drew a picture of me, James, in uh, watercolors today. It was beautiful, Dan. It was. I was very impressed. And I'll use it as my profile picture. It's very nice of that person. Nice. Well, Follow Esports going to be on the fourth by. No kits. Peter is going to be echoing, however. He is looking for the orb as soon as possible. And this is a map where he will definitely need it. However, if this fourth by does not prove successful, then Follow Esports will be very limited on their full buy in terms of nades, etc. when it comes to round four. Yeah. And, well, I mean, I would actually expect Follow Esports to have a, a big struggle dealing with this because the trade should be so easy for Cloud9 that even if they lose two players, they'll still get the bomb down. I don't see them losing all two players here. However, they've been spotted. At least a few players have been spotted. They're going to go for the wrap now onto middle as well to aid this A push by providing multiple prongs, although I say multiple and just maybe it's two. But so he's going to find the first frag. We'll get the trade coming in, but lots of damage done to Cloud9. It's nothing. And Rue will actually eliminate nothing as well. So um, it looks like... Uh, Cloud9 are really struggling here. They actually split up all their players, making things a little bit more complicated than maybe they, it needed to be. And that's going to put them in a very awkward position. Freakazoid in with the taps there will take down Akis. There are two players, though, still ready, willing, and healthy to try to assault onto this one. Stewie in with another frag. He's got the MP7. He's going to jump over wow. the top, and he finds the kill. Great movement coming in. The parkour from Stewie2K gets it done. And Cloud9 will lose the second round. That was impressive. I like that. The temerity to get the knife out briefly, to get that extra velocity, and then pull out the 5-7, and then just murder. Straight murder, Dan. I respect that. I'm curious as to what Peter will do now, because obviously he was saving for Dior, but his team has won the round, so he's going to go for the MP9, try and make himself some money. Yeah, the MP9, the, the cheapest option for an SMG, um, so that you can be safe. Because it feels very awkward to go for the just the pistol, because you know that it's very likely a force buy is going to be on the way as well. So you should really pick one up. It's, what, $1,200? Yep, $600 per kill. So it can pay for itself fairly easily, depending on the circumstances. One to one now, and Cloud9 indeed have gone for the force buy. Two AKs for them. Everyone saved for nothing and skadoodle. Uh, Going to have armor, so it's not quite everyone. It's three people, 60%. Shroud moving in towards the squeaky door, so it seems they are going to try and bum rush the A bomb sites where there are only two players for Follow Esports. You can see Stewie2K there playing quad with the AK. He's got the solitary flashbang. Akis with two flashes of his own, starting to distribute them, trying to break the timing 
how many would be assailants. We got uh, first kill coming in from Stewie on the defense, and he'll get Molotov out of position. But where is the frag? Nobody is going to punish Stewie from getting depositioned there by that Molotov. He's going to fall further back through the smoke into the safety of his teammates as they've set up a line here. And Cloud9 going for that, or trying to go for initially for that short plant. They were showing that previously. However, they have to go for a safer plant, and they are getting cut down here. They are falling apart at the seams, and there's uh, there's nothing left to sew them up at the end. We should see three AKs being picked up here from the CT side, I hope. You can see Slemmy running around with a FAMAS. So they should just hold off on that defuse. Uh, it'll be fine. Let's see if Ruru can pick one up or if he's going to opt for the M4. M4 has a nice spray as well. So they have upgraded the guns they wanted to. That's good. And uh, again, it's, it's always weird. Like, just going back to Peter. If you're saving for the AWP, but then your team win the second round, and then you die, then you have to rebuy armor, which means that you're almost definitely not going to have the money for the AWP. So things get a bit awkward. And he has indeed gone for the uh, M4 here, rather than anything else. But now for Cloud9 are actually on the uh, proper Rico, then who knows? I don't know. I don't. I, I haven't studied it the maths enough to see if it was worth buying an inferior gun once again. But Cloud9 looking to put three people in the boost spot. See if they choose to go for a push. Follow me spots playing mid very passively. Sometimes people can make the mistake of playing deep mid on this round. But again, Clevine are on Yuko, so you would be playing to their advantage with these P250s. Yeah, it's a very patient Cloud9 at the moment. Now, is the patience going to be worth it? They are going to be bursting into the A bomb site sooner rather than later. Three players over the top in the middle. Now, who are they going to meet? It's likely going to be Slemmy, I think. He's actually, no, he's repositioning. So, in fact, they're actually going straight in now for the push. Two players A main, two, uh, three players through middle. Okay, one is actually squeaky as well. So, Peter's there in middle. He's going to be moving in for the frag sale, take down Shroud as Rue comes in for the action as well. But he'll be traded immediately. Stewie in with one and another one. Stewie has been absolutely on point so far in this match. I'm going to give him two stars, James. He can slap two stars on his uniform. Two star uniform you, for you, Mr. Stewie2k. Okay, so three to one for Follow Spot. Super early days here. Cloud9 going for the buy. Freakers Wade and Scoodle buying late, and indeed Scar, as they will sometimes call him. Going for the AWP, no helmet. So, it's going to have the uh, early peak towards the A site. Just uh, the Cloud9 side taking their initial map control. Trades for the uh, CT side towards the squeaky door. Going to close it. As well, going for a fast boost, looking to uh, try and capitalize on any advantage. The bomb is spotted, they won't be able to hold it there. Although they are pushing uh, T Warehouse as well. So, three versus three, things getting a little bit difficult for both teams now. Yeah, we've got uh, the bomb in a position where it needs to be recollected by the T's, and there is Rue who's going to be able to hear any footsteps. So, he's got good information here. And if they go for the boost, he should be able to get some sound cues potentially. If Freakasoid is going to make a step, I think he made a step there actually, so Rue should be able to hear this. He's going to also hear that for sure. Skidoo jumping around. Jump up. Jump up and get down, James. That makes no sense. I know, but I had to say it. I was, I was feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling the no sense game? I'm full of nonsense. Okay, well, whoa, Rue just gets flashed there. That's so unfortunate. He's going to get the frag regardless. So down to 4 HP, and now it's, it's things are a bit tricky. His retreat is difficult because the vent isn't open. He's going to open it regardless. Suggests that maybe he's making an exit. And he might hear Sean running towards A from this position, but uh, Sean will hear Rue if he goes for a fast rotate. And again, just for 4 HP. So uh, he thinks Sean's far enough away for him to try and catch up. Had an opportunity to pick up an AK there, but he's going to continue with the M4. And again, with the with only 4 HP, that AK may have made a difference for him. And there we go. Rue is going to get taken down by Sean Gez. Only doing a little bit of damage there. Another round on the board for Cloud9. Yeah, we're going to see whether or not Cloud9 are going to keep the ball rolling, though. They do have not the best in the way of the money, so... I actually think it was a massive mistake not to pick up that AK on the floor. When you've only got 4 HP, you need to hit that headshot. My opinion. Alright then. Well, it looks like a 2-1 two, two, setup for Follow Esports. And uh, they're going to do the run boost there, so... Putting a player up in a sneaky position. A very... Awkward position here for Cloud9. I'm not talking about the back of the Volkswagen. We've got three, four players through the door. Is Stewie going to get it done here? Sitting up the top there on the boost spot 
with the M4A4 there. He has been spotted, but he'll get the frag. Immediately, the call is going to come in. He's not able to capitalize and get an extra kill, but he's left his team in a three versus three on the retake. What can they get done in this situation? The bomb is going to be planted. Nice slew of bullets thrown down by Rue as we get the trade coming in. And uh, Shroud at the back there, supported by Sean Gez. This is going to be hard to retake into this, but Peter's found himself a pretty nifty angle. He'll hit the flick onto Shroud, and he'll go in close. The finish on Sean Gares, but can he do it? Will the in-game leader for Cloud9 be able to win this situation? Peter, oh my goodness. Oh, he's going to turn around just in the nick of time there. I thought he was going to miss, miss that because he, he looked everywhere but that single spot and I was like, no. I wish I could see that in third person. That would have been really interesting. But yeah. There we go. The blind spots. It will uh, finish things off there for his team. It was, it was kind of weird. Like, um, Stewie, he got the first frag, then he moves over to the site, saw three players, and he was actually spraying between two players. What does this mean? So, so it's, it's almost like his brain didn't decide which one he wanted to uh, take out. What does it mean, James? Do you read Russian? It means... Well, no, I don't read Russian, though. No. Sorry, mate. But you said you were about to say something. Like, it means... Oh, wait, I don't read Russian. <laughs> I was going to try and troll you, but I couldn't think of anything witty enough, so I was like, ah, no, okay, fine. Okay. I give up. Fair enough. I, I, res failed. I respect that. I respect acknowledgement of failure. Self-failures. <laughs> Six self failures. It's well, anyway forwards. Sean's made his way into the vent in mid already and he's going to have support from a boosted player. But uh, again, mid's been more or less abandoned by the CT side, moving the third player over towards the A site, playing the range game as much as possible. They can uh, use those ranges to make sure nobody crosses the Z connector. Well, you can see only nothing has a flash, but. Again, you can smoke off short from uh, the boost for where Freakazoid is. Although there is no smoke to smoke it off. And that, I, I wonder how interesting that would make things on a round like this. I'm not sure, but it could. It gives uh, the T's if they can take mid another opportunity to kind of burst onto the onto the A site with a split. But they're going to move into the B bomb site. Things going well for the CT so far, but they are rapidly losing ground to these T players. Although as uh, the bomb gets planted, there will be many CTs to try and get back this bomb site. Yeah, not much to do really. Skidil's gonna find himself a quick headshot though. Nice damage onto the next player. Can he get the flick though? He's gonna get attacked, assaulted. And uh, well, he's, he's done. They're all done, they're cooked. They've had their bacon. <laughs> I can think of an inappropriate joke there, but never mind. 5-2 is the score. Follow Esports looking pretty good, losing only a single player. And Cloud9, they did get the bomb down, so they have enough money to get a strong buy in here to try to destabilize Follow Esports a little bit. But they're, they're doing really well at the moment. Are they going to make the shock upset? Is it actually going to happen? Well, Do you believe, James? I, I believe that we're only eight rounds in. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. So that's what I believe. I'll hold my horses, all of them. Ooh, that was a very close shot through the smoke and uh, Cloud9 just going to charge through into mid and make it work. Ruru going down to Freaker's Wave. It has indeed been abandoned once again, but can Cloud9 convert on this occasion? This time they've got a good pick. Freakers are nothing heavily tagged though, but they have the superior weaponry over these M4, so as long as they're quick on the trigger, they may make this work. Down goes Shroud, so that's one of the uh, full health players for the team. That nade is going to sail in, but the kill will come in before the nade can do the damage. Three versus four retake for the uh, CTs. There is a gap in that smoke towards CT, but the CTs may not get there in time to make use of it. I'm sure it will be gone by the time they get there. Stewie 2K going down may change the direction of Follow Esports from down to up. Indeed, they are moving up the minimap now. Akis uh, may be trying to pick up a superior weapon, but he is indeed moving away as well. So Cloud9 back to winning ways and Follow Esports are now trying to save what remains. Which is an open of Hamas. So if they can do that, that would be fantastic. It will allow them, I think. Let's check their money. Uh, yep. They are going to have... Let's see, 5k, 5, 6k, 5k, well, 4, 4k ish. I'm, I'm pretty bad at doing mathematics, James, but they're going to have enough to force it up here with the two saves, so that's fine. That's adding an extra thousand, James. I'm a generous man. You're a nice guy, Dan. Here, have this extra thousand. Don't listen to what I say about you on the internet. <laughs> what, what do they say? What do they say? The 4k is in New York for Cloud9, and the 3. M4s, the single French gun, the FAMAS, and the English gun, the AWP, onto the CT side. That's a nice jump from Skadoodle, but uh, oh, he's going to make the connection through the corner of the wall as well. Peter Lucky to get away with that one. Crossfire in mid, Slemmy taking down two. 
and uh, things happening very quickly here. Peter will trade with the flames here. Four versus two, super fast. What did Cloudline do with this now? Bit of a gap in the smoke, and that's going to expose them. Ruru finding a frag, looking to find an angle, getting tagged through the wall. Skadoodle versus four. How much can he do from this position? He needs to avoid being traded. That's not going to be easy. Hot flash coming in. He doesn't get tagged, though, but he's made no tag himself either. CT continues to advance, and now things have finally come to a close for Cloud9. That's really nice to follow these They're going to get a lot done with that around win like that. And uh, they have a good opportunity here to really get themselves towards the double digits. It wasn't that I wear a TP because that's not true, James. My hair is real. You sound insecure. <laughs> about your TP, then? <laughs> <laughs> By coming out for both sides now, you can see Shroud's limited to the the Honest Deagle. Yeah, Skadoodle down to the Galil as opposed to a sniper rifle. So we'll see what Cloud9 can do with this. You can see nothing poised to uh, throw a smoke on top of the arrow for a fast play into the A site. And here it comes. Nothing going to move through the smoke. Looking for the gap, but Stu's going to spot him as well. He'll get a frag regardless. Four versus two. Slemmy and Peter remain out of position. And they seem headed towards the, the A bomb site. There's only a man advantage now. One has gone down. Nothing's heavily tagged. So I'm sure Slemmy will try to see if he can find a quick frag here to even things up and maybe they can push. They've both got kits. Three versus one now. Slemmy left alone. His position's been found and he's going to go down as well. So follow spots get wiped out on round 10. And Cloud9 make it four to six. Even even though Skadoodle decided that he was he was going to play God that round and decided that Shroud should no longer live. Just like you're dead now, Shroud. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> he got slayed by the by the server admin. Yeah. Skadoodle said, You shall not live. And so it was. So it was written. So follow these spots onto the P250 buys now. Cloud9 swinging straight back into this one, which is really good for them, of course, because follow these spots were generating a really strong position in the game. So it couldn't really have come at a sooner time. And this will now allow Cloud9 to get themselves an advantage. But what kind of strategy are we looking at here? They need to be playing an anti-eco. They need to be avoiding any potential stacks. And they, have need, they, need to, they need to do a few things. They need to play together so they can trade. They need to make sure that they have a way to find information as to whether or not there is a stack in certain locations. And they need to use grenades in a well-coordinated way to get rid of the most dangerous positions where the pistols can wreak havoc as they have close range engagements. Those are the three main things on a round like this. The three rules, the golden rules. Well, we'll see if your golden rules will be applied, Danzo. I don't, don't know what that means. Three people over towards the, sorry, four people over towards the uh, B-bomb site. You can see that stack coming in there. The Molotovs to try and stop the peaking positions in the headshot area, and Cloud9 will look to uh, have a good anti-eco round. So far, so good. Shroud getting uh, taken down here, but the three plays have been lost by follow spots. And there is a fourth. Slemmy's picks up an AK. That is a good position for him to go for a fast peak and try and get some headshots, but he will opt to save as uh, his time would be limited, one must assume. That was that was pretty good from Cloud9. They they you know they they did the basic information plays as we saw some basic uh, map control plays and they just went in there together just quickly, and uh, in the words of Sun Tzu, James, it does not value prolonged warfare or something like that. And that's something that we see is is the to the detriment of many teams that they take too long on their anti eco rounds, so, and that actually often ends up undoing them because they give so much power to the the team that's that's with the pistols to get information to work out what's happening to set up around what the T's are doing. Terrorists win. Don't look so disappointed. It's the first time I managed to squeeze Sun Tzu in there. Come on. I don't know or what you want me to say then. I'm proud of you. Cloud9 will uh, top up their lost players and the Orp will come back on to Peter. He's managed to buy Kevlar as well and a bonus flashbang. So, Follow Esports have dropped five rounds on their CT side. Not terrible, but they're going to need more than six if they are to go into the next round with comfort. He's just flying around the map. This is a different angle. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good because um, if, some, if somebody tries to pre-fire him, you saw Skadoodle flying around to jump into an angle towards B. If such a thing happens towards A, also then he may be in for a surprise. Also, if, if they go for the, the play where they try to go for the smoke, the T-smoke main, and then jump onto the lockers, to try to pick over the smoke. Well, he's, he's got a better vantage point. You're dead. So that used to be an old Kenny, Kenny S trick to pick with the AWP. I'm inspired main. by uh, Peter's decision making. Yeah, it's good stuff. I shall be stealing this for more 7am Counter-Strike streams. 
Well, this is not going the way of Follow Esports. They literally just getting picked off the map, Dan. Slemmy and Peter remain, and now things are getting pretty bad for them. The bomb moving over towards the B split once again. That spot is checkable by Slemmy, but they're not going to check it. How many flags will he get? Just the one. If he got two, then who knows what could have happened. Peter moving towards the side. A flank coming in. That's going to be that. Six to six now. Follow Esports broken again. That's always the most depressing position to be in as the AWPer, where you pick up the AWP, you're like, all right, picked up the AWP. It's not the most cost-efficient weapon in the world, but uh, it's time for my time to shine, finally, after all these saves. And you go to a bomb site, and then the, the other bomb site gets wrecked. You're the only guy left alive, and you're like, well, great. Didn't get to fire a shot. Well, yeah, that is a little bit frustrating. So far, we sports are going to more or less have to uh, Expect to concede around here. They've pushed Squeaky where there is a shroud waiting for them. And he's going to back off. Keep that tight angle. Peter has an opportunity to move closer to it. Whoa. What was that? That was pretty awesome. Did Peter find like a fully loader or something? That was a pretty sick shot. I have no idea what just happened. I don't know either. But uh, either way, a lot of players here from Cloud9 are actually dying. They've, they've fallen to the plate. Now we've got Slemmy in. He's, he's out as quick as he came. So uh, Cloud9 will claim another round. But uh, yeah, crazy frag there. And some good damage done. Although it's not going to be too meaningful as we're into the last couple rounds now. So this time Peter and Stewie are going to be on the AWP. Let's see if they have a better time with it. Now we've got... Uh, so checking how Cloud9 are going to play this initially. So they'll smoke off away the incendiary. But Slemmy's going to... That's going to indicate that they're taking mid. So interesting stuff here. Slemmy already takes down nothing. It's a good nade towards the... Oh, Slemmy just down to 4 HP now. That was a meaty nade. The fire coming in as well. But I think the fire glitched out, unfortunately. Caught in the middle. Blind. He will get taken down. Double Orb still in play for here for follow esports, however. Again, Cloud9 with control of mid. They don't have anybody towards B. In fact, the entire team is more or less in mid. We've got uh, Skadoodle moving towards A main. So it seems the split will be over to A this time. Stewie trying to hold things down. Missing the shot. They're getting baited by the elbow of one of these players. Freakazoid goes down. Sean to trade. Rue is behind the smoke, which will allow him to sneak. But Skadoodle's looking for him. Will he have the right angle? Saved by the forklift trucks for the time being. While well, Peter tries to dance. He's going to get tagged, however. Skadoodle rarely misses. Sometimes it's the post. Two versus three retake, and they are just weary of Skadoodle here. Ruru's got a smoke. I don't know why he doesn't smoke it off. He's going to go for the push anyway, and he'll be, uh, he will succumb to the second angle. I don't know if he realized he had a smoke, but one of his players were dead. Should have suggested just pop the smoke down. Well, 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 well. Eight, six is the score now. And uh, two of the orbs are in the hands of the Cloud9 players, so they have managed to resurge or create a resurgence and back into this match on cash. And the Famas are out in numbers, five of them in fact. Pentuplets. Anyway, we've got uh, Akis there in middle, is ready to spot. He's not really got anyone to play off of. Triple orb. That's three, Dan. That's, that is, it's triplets. That's a trio. A trio of snipers. Trifecta? Sniper. Is it a trifecta? I, maybe, perhaps, is it is, could be, that is great. I need to go Google this on a Google device. How's it going? Well, give me a second to actually punch some buttons in that. All right. I guess I could commentate whilst you're doing that. That would be a good idea, then. Okay. So we do have Cloud9 just playing it passively to begin with, trying to make sure they're safe against any fast aggressions, but there is none to be found. They're going to go for the B split now, and Follow Esports are going to have to do a pretty crazy, crazy job here on the defense with those FAMAS. And Peter's actually going to pick up two quick kills, so it, they will actually slow the approach into the B side itself for the take, and that's going to allow Follow Esports to get players on the flank, but Cloud9 are more than cognizant of this, and uh, it's down to Rue. It's all down to Rue on this site. He's got Freakazoid approaching in fast. He's going to find the head, and the bomb is going to go down onto the floor. So good job done here by Rue, but he's still got two more players to find. He's now alone, the last man alive in this last round of the first half. Can he make it seven here? Here comes the engagement, but they're not looking the right way. He's going to find both players, and a double headshot comes in from Rue, and he's going to secure it from follow e for follow esports. And 
Wow, Cloud9, that was a really weird position. The but dancing left and right really paid off for him there. They, they saw him move yeah. to the left, they didn't see him move to the right. He's shuffling like Patrick Swayze, Dan. <laughs> oh. So tri a trifecta is uh, relating to betting of horses and things like that. Ah. So it's, in fact, nothing to do <laughs> with three AWPs. I thought you were going to say he, he's just dancing around like Muhammad Ali or something there as well. But you, you threw in the Patrick Swayze. Yeah, man. Old school. Trifecta is a bet in which the person betting forecasts the first three finishers in a race in the correct order. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty brazen. That's, that's impressive. That's a brazen bet, Dan. That's very it's impressive. It's a brazen bet. I would never do that. I guess if you know enough about... Actually, I could do that in Counter-Strike. Well, you could do a, you could do a scoreboard trifecta. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. We will have all the trifectas before the day is done, James. So eight to seven, not much between these two teams, but Cloud9, uh, one would expect a solid CT half from them. Again, follow eSports, there were a lot of situations. As we saw yesterday, I'm actually glad we're seeing Cash three times today because we can look at how all these teams uh, play the CT half around mid because it was abandoned a few times by follow eSports there. And again, they conceded eight rounds on their, on their CT side, which they're not going to be happy with. But it all starts with the pistol now in the second half. Three sports heading towards the uh, B bomb site with the entire team. Oh no! Oh no! Nothing has not been spotted. What? Nothing. Only gets a single kill there before going down. But Shroud is just an assassin from up top there. Gets two quick kills with that silenced USP, and Sean Gares is going to sneak in in all the confusion into the back, and he's going to find himself a potential engagement onto Akis. But no, Shroud is going to take that frag. He's going to take the next one as well. But he has aid from Sean Gares in the back. And there it is, the frag will be found. Shroud, man, he saved them heavily. His aim is absurd. It's absurd. It's next levels of crazy. So there we go, good start for Cloud9 on the CT half. They're going to extend their lead. And I do favor them. Having eight rounds on the T half, I have to favor them to take this match. The pistol is definitely a good bonus, but we're going to see the force buy coming out for Follow Esports despite. Uh, the plant coming in, they know that Cloud9 can have, are very capable of having a strong CT half, and they're going to try and ruin their economy as soon as possible, as often as possible, as common as possible. Moving towards the A site, looks like we should see a smoke execute coming in. Five smokes, one Molotov on this T side here. G again, we've got Freakazoid, maybe expectant of such a play. Good attempt at a timing grenade, but uh, just a little bit too early. So here comes the push. We've got one... T, Freakazoid that is, very aggressively placed to try and do some damage here, to trade, and the rest of the team needs to hold. And we get a couple of trades coming in at the end, but, well, a trade, a single, singular trade. <laughs> Ruiz just sees carrying on top of the, the barrels there. It's like, I don't want to do this. But you got no choice. Got to face the music. That was like facing dubstep though, that was violent. That, yeah, with like a really bad sound system, you know, back of a Peugeot. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Skrillex in your face. Take that. You're now dead. I went to a Scream and Benga concert. Well, not a concert. I was in a festival when they were playing. And uh, my then girlfriend wanted to see them. And I was wearing a Raptor Jesus outfit. And I was in, uh, I don't know what you call, where they were just jumping around and stuff. But I was a Raptor a Jesus. A mosh pit? It wasn't really a mosh pit, though. But it was just full of sweaty people jumping around. So much it. I suppose so. <laughs> Are they kicking each other? There's a video on YouTube. If anybody wants to see it, tweet me. I'll send you a link. I almost broke my ankle because I couldn't see what was going on. Anyway, there's a push coming in from Follow Esports onto the A side here. They've only got a pistol, so let's not get too excited. Spray down's working well so far for Cloud9. We'll see if Follow Esports can plant the bomb, but it does not look likely. Street 2 ks picks up an M4. Oh, almost got a two-man spray down, but it won't be a, it'll be a zero-man spray down. And they will all fall. Only... Sean Gare's being taken down there, so good hold by Cloud9. Indeed. So, and they've got a lot of cash as well now, built up. A lot of cash. But Follow Esports can ruin that. They can they can ruin ruin that. They can put a nice uh, nice dent in the economy of Cloud9. Let's have a look and see if they can how they're going to try to accomplish that though. There's lots of uh, strategies for them to pick from, but it looks like they're gonna go for the spreads oh, no. and the passive play. And oh, we're gonna get the run boost. No. Yes. Does he? Did he make it? Did he make it? Yes, he did. Holy potatoes! Shout got up there, and that is just. How do we not see that more often? That's Glorious. hilarious. 
because it's probably pretty damn <laughs> risky. Um, all right, well, that's pretty awesome. Shark's going to pick up two kills thanks to that aggression. And Sean Gares is now taking lives in B storage. Anything that's going to be stored there are the bodies of follow esports. Uh, Sean made a mistake of trying to get a nade out from the, in a very advanced position in a 5v2 with no one covering him, which may not have been the smartest idea. So he will go down, but Ru Ru's position will be spotted, although nothing has to run away because he only has 15, 16 HP. He's going to hold an angle with the AWP. And he's going to get taken down. So now the big round becomes winnable for Ruru all of a sudden. Yeah, he's taking no damage as well. So that is absolutely, absolutely the case considering he's got 30 seconds. However, he's not got any... Actually, he has a smoke still. That is, that could be... The smoke is worth its weight in gold at the moment in a situation like this. But uh, where does he place it? Oh he's going to get tagged. Good tag from Skidoodle. Shroud should be able to easily finish him off. And there it is. A few bullets... We'll find it's the way to Rue, and uh, that'll be the end of him. So, looks like we'll get a tactical pause here. Uh, Volley Sports are quite good at using their tactical pauses, actually. Probably the better, the best out of all the teams in the North American League. I would say so, because nobody else uses tactical pauses Yeah, online. exactly, right? In, nev in any territory yeah. in the face at League, nobody does. Yeah. Well, I think Vadis Pro, did they use one the other day? I think they may have done. There was a train game, I think, wasn't it? Wasn't there like uh, where we saw a tactical? I'm not sure. The only tactical pauses I have seen that I can recall are from Follow Esports, which I respect. That's cool. It's good, and That's it's a good cool. time to do it as well. They're going to be on the Eco. Cloud9 are four rounds away from victory. There's still a window of opportunity to be had here for Follow Esports, so it's good to see them focus. And you know, okay, when our next buy comes in, what do we need to do? And for this round, how much money do we want to spend? Can we get a plant? Following the plant, can we do any damage? And again, we started to see teams, namely Envy, for example, do, do the short plant on the A site with the smoke on the uh, back of the red box between the red box and forklifts. So, and again, like with for a, a, an investment and a pop flash, they can get the meat shield in there and they have a fair chance of uh, getting such a plant on the A site. The main worry is pushing through A would be forklift and boost positions if you're above forklift on the balcony there or the boost position on the other side they'd be the main worries but uh, you know with enough people maybe you can trade who knows but that's that's what i uh, that's what we don't see enough of in my opinion on cash specifically because it's very achievable i think you smoke off quad you smoke off the car position you could even just bounce a smoke off towards the forklift area as well and then you just have to worry about the high ground basically get the pop flash in there get the plant in So is that what you expect them to do now? That's not what I expect them to do. It's what they should do. But no one, no, almost no one does that. Although they're going for a, a, a more significant buy, actually. They are going for Kevlar as well as pistols. But again, we've got one smoke on Taru and two flashes. So I do wonder what the goal is here. Although Slemmy hasn't bought. So maybe like if he gets one more smoke, then I think, I think you need at least two smokes to have an execute with a buy like this. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's hold tab for a second and see what will happen if they uh yeah so it, if they lose this round they get thirty four hundred dollars so that's going to leave them all in the region of five k <coughs> to six k dollars actually that said stewie is just bought down to fifteen hundred so he's going to be a let's bit see lower the buy, let's see the buy let's see the buy but he'll still be on uh, so, forty nine hundred so so they've bought they've bought four kevlars a uh, bunch of pistols but only one smoke yeah they, so, oh. they they can afford to do that though i know but what, what is the purpose of the smoke that's what i'm curious about not, not the overall spend Actually, if it's a fast B play, then that's uh, quite reasonable. The smoke goes down in towards the CT. They need to trade on the site, though. Sean's taking one down. Sean's taking another one down. He's going to finally get traded. The bomb's going to get planted for checkers now. Can they hold? Sammy's stolen an M4. He has stolen the property of the US government. They want it back. He's going to find another kill there onto Skadoodle. Shard is going to make his way in, though. He's going to find himself a sneaky frag onto Rue and also Slemmy. They'll all fall like dominoes as the bomb defuse will come in in a timely fashion there from Cloud9. So, But the bomb went down, and uh, that's going to give them $4,200 in this round. So the 800 plus the 3,400 max consecutive round loss bonus. And that means they are loaded. They're rich. Look at look at the riches. I have a FAMAS. Uh, no, I have an M4 X-Ray. And I've covered it with hamster stickers. I'll leave you to guess what the name of the gun is. But indeed, both teams are going to be back on the buy now. Six-round lead for Cloud9 over Follow Esports. 
or up onto both Peter and Skadoodle. So let's see what the play is of the Luis Could it be a fast play towards A? The bomb's still in a passive position at the moment. So it looks like they just want, just want to take their initial map control. You can see there is a CC behind the smoke. Do we, is he lining up for something? I'm not sure what he's doing. But uh, Freakzoi didn't manage to spot his head there. He's going to get one frag onto Akis and escape regardless. He's lost half his life, but he's got a man advantage for his team. Traded now by Stewie2k. He will uh, get back out of eight as well. I love the kind of rabid play coming in from Stewie there to definitely get the trade, even at risk of his own life. Because that was really risky. He pushed through a main to get that trade. It's very likely he could just die there. Very, very bold indeed. He's going to find the kill regardless, though. And... That is going to put Follow Esports in a better position than Cloud9. And they are putting a bit of a delay in here. And that should lend obscurity for Cloud9 because they don't have middle. That's the sacrifice. When you lose a player, you can't really afford to put anyone in middle. So that gives a tease a very big ability to go either A or B. But they're going to go for B and straight into Sean Gez and nothing. Three quick kills coming in from Cloud9 is going to completely halt the, CT, uh, the T aggression onto the B bomb site. Just Peter left in the one versus three. What on earth is he going to do in this position? He'll find Skadoodle up top and the next frag as well. But it's just one player left now in Shroud as the bomb is going to be faked. And will that draw out Shroud from his hidey hole? So far, he's going to stay Disciplined. He will try to Molotov the position of Peter here, but Peter's back on to headshot looking for that quick kill onto Shroud for the 3k and he's gonna get it and that is why we love Peter. What a absurd clutch. His team got wrecked. You saw, I think it was Slemmy throwing a Molotov from the vents. Um, but there's the same Molotov. If you look at Luminosity, for example, they throw that same Molotov uh, from outside B in the toxic area through the window, which stops the CTs from holding an angle towards the entrance to B. From the site itself, you know, that was a very great recovery from Peter. He did well, very, very well for his team there. Again, we said he's been playing excellent recently, and that's another example. So, follow Sports not out of this yet. They've hurt the economy of the CT side, so they can try and use this momentum and move forward a bit. Nothing, though. It's going to go through the smoke and hold down the B bomb site. Get some information for his team as well, so he can keep the numbers elsewhere for now. Yeah, this is a great situation for Cloud9. You can see they can uh, maintain presence on middle so they can effectively understand what is going on, which was not the case in the previous round. This would be a great round for them to, for Cloudline to actually win as well, considering that uh, just one player was surviving in the previous round for Follow Esports. They would then, of course, be in a position where they could heavily impact in a negative way the economy of Follow Esports. And Freakazoid is going to get two quick kills. The, f the trade was not going to happen there, but Peter, is he going to save the day again? He's marching in, he's going to get the pick onto short, but he will soon be silenced there on the toxic barrels by Freakazoid, leaving just Rue left alive as he makes his way on a creep through A main. Indeed, he is all alone versus four. And Cloud9 look to move one round closer to that magical 16th round. So what is the play from Rue? Does he want to make sure that he dies after time? The smoke going down. Sean taking pot shots. Kududal's in position as well. We've got three people on the site here. Too many angles to hold, and Rue will get taken down. So 14 to 8 for Luis Sports. Going to have a very rough economy now. They've been reset after that clutch. That's pretty scary there. When everyone's like staring at you, and you're like four players staring at you as so you go through a one choke point. <coughs> Reminds me of like. Well, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> anyway 14 to 8. <laughs> I, I was just going to make a horrendous move joke. On. I saved everybody. Just move on. I'm the savior here. So uh, this is this is really, really harsh here now for Folly Sports. They were doing so well to begin with, but now they're on the brink of destruction. And, uh, well, big, uh, big movement coming in from Folly Sports towards the B-bomb. So it looks like they just want to go for the straight up execute. I believe they're lining up the smoke, the sorry, the Molotov there for headshot. But Freakers always close, and so is the player on vent. This can be hard to stop. It's good all moving to a, another position where you can retake pot shots. He's coming in to get some frags, so is Shroud. This is a solid hold here from Cloud9. Ruru coming in as a last man standing once again. Picks up an M4, but he's got three players swarming his position. He'll pick up the bomb. The bomb's behind the smoke, so the CTs can't see it. They'll know he hasn't rotated. Freakazoid has the angle on, on Ruru now. Stuck into the vents is Ruru getting tagged from upper. And Sean coming in from the back. Too many angles once again. A familiar, a familiar situation. Bit of deja vu there, maybe. Yeah. When I said uh, <coughs> hard, to st hard to stop, I was referring to the setup of the CTs as opposed to the rush. Which I guess would, if I say stop, you'd kind of be probably attaching it to the rush instead. But anyway, we have uh, that <coughs> match point situation. And once again, it's a horrendous bite. Are they just going to go for another another execute? I mean, th this is the thing. Like, They don't really have much of a choice. 
they pretty much have to go for some kind of an execute and just and a rush. And for Cloud9, it's just a question of where. Like, th there's no, almost no value for Follow Esports to take middle. So Cloud9 can, can stack three towards the bomb site, and they've chosen A, and they have chosen correctly. All the nades coming in, but are they going to pay off? You can see Sean's position is not going to be checked by any of these teams. They're going to get cut down. It is an abattoir here, and the cattle is called Follow Esports. Only Ak Akis remains here, back at the site. Not sure if he's been spotted. They know roughly where he is. There are smokes there. He needs to get a bomb down at some point, but he's not going to get an opportunity. 16 to 8, Cloud9 finishing with double the score of their opponents. A very solid performance. We expected them to have a strong CT side. I think the T's got one round on the second half. Uh, yeah, th yeah, I, I think it, right. it finished 8 7 to Cloud9, so we got one round and second half. So indeed, Cloud9 were as solid as we expected them to be. Yeah, uh, not much more to say than that. I mean, again, uh, Follow Esports, much like Winterfox, able to have a pretty good first half, but it kind of just fell apart when they when they went onto the <coughs> the attacking side. They just, c just couldn't figure out a way to defeat the defense. So. I mean, Cloud9, again, they, they were definitely outskilling them to a large extent. The only player really getting the clutches in and the crazy frags we saw was really Peter. And uh, against Cloud9, when they're really hitting their shots, you need, you need a little bit more than just strategy. You've got to be, you be on par individually to, to be consistent against these teams. Well, our next match is going to be Complexity versus Liquid on Cash, one which I am looking forward to because we've put almost all our unicorns on this match. Oh. But first... No. But first, it's time to draw another winner for another cobblestone case. Who is it going to be, Mr. Producer Reese Esquire? The winner is James12437. 12437. 12437. I am not even going to ask why he chose those numbers, but let's see what you have won, sir. Or madam. Do it. Do it. Do it. <coughs> I would like to see an overgreen apple. But we're going to see an imp, a souvenir, <laughs> UMP45 Indigo. Nothing but failure here at Face It TV. Apex. Two more cases to open after the next two matches. We will see you after the break.